He's gonna wake up and say it was me. He'll tell everyone. The police, uh, I'll be arrested. Well, he knows it was an accident. It was still me. Shh. I don't get why the police have to take your clothes. Well, there was blood on them, it was evidence. Of what? Do you think it was you? No. I can't let you take the blame. You need to stay calm. I'll tell them it was me. Shh, come in, come in. Uh, is it OK if I, uh, I need to see him? I hope you don't mind. No, no, it's fine. Is he going to be all right? Well, the surgery went well. Doctor says it's, uh, hopeful. No, she didn't. She said it was too early to make any promises. Well, we, we've reason to think that it's hopeful. Did he... Uh, he didn't do this to himself, did he? No, no, no. So what happened? We have no idea. Sorry to disturb you, Miss White. I'm Detective Sergeant Mudd. I know it's a difficult time, but I wondered if I could ask you and your son a few questions. Chrissy must be in a terrible state, finding Lawrence like that. Give her my love when you see her. Well, I'm not sure when that'll be. She's been really off with me. I'd probably just been paranoid. What about? Nothing. Don't give me that. You were behaving oddly yesterday. What have you done? Is it anything to do with Bernice? Cos I've been trying to ring her and she's not answering. You've been having an affair? No. It was just the once. What is wrong with you? You're just like your brother. Well, it was different this time. I thought me and Chrissy were over for good. Oh, really? And how long was it after you finished with Chrissy that you were hopping into bed with Bernice? I can't feel any more guilty than I already do. It's Chrissy I want. Then stop messing my daughter about. Oh, Andy. You know I love you, but you're not being fair. No wonder she's gone off to a yoga thing. It was a mistake. I'm sure it was. But the point is, no one can get hold of her. And her husband, because he is still her husband, might die. And she doesn't even know about it. She'd be devastated. So you didn't hear the gunshot? I, I, I don't know. I, I actually can't remember. Try to visualise walking up to the house. Walking through the door. I realise it's hard. It's just, it's difficult when you hear them all the time. You know, Sam's always shooting rabbits or something. Um, sorry. And you don't know anything about the gun missing from the cabinet? No. Did you see anyone? It wasn't her. She didn't do it. Nobody's saying she did. She's a key witness, the first person on the scene. I'm just trying to get any clues. What about when you were driving up there? Did you pass anyone, any cars? Probably. It's, it's all a bit of a blur. If I'd known what I was going to walk into, I would have paid more attention. I understand that. It might be that you remember something later. Anything, however small, might be helpful. There was a vase missing. I know because it catches your eye when you go in. Um, it was blue glass with a distinctive pattern. But I didn't see anything else missing. I, I didn't go upstairs. I just, uh, I just saw Dad. And I'm sorry. I understand you want to get back to him. I just want to confirm that you weren't at home. Uh. No, no, I, I was in town. It was his birthday, 16. Uh, I'd given him some money. You know, kids are like they can't wait to spend it. I, I was on my own, so I, I don't have an alibi or anything. Well, no, you don't need one, because it was a break-in. That's one possibility. It might have been staged to look that way. No sign of a forced entry. So Mr White let them in, or they let themselves in. Well, you don't think it was someone that he knew? It usually is. But we're doing everything we can. We'll search the ground to look for any evidence. My guess is that whoever did this left in a hurry which hopefully means they didn't do a great job of covering their tracks.